So the dependent is the profit. Money is always dependent if it's there. The number of shirts is the independent. So to graph it, you're going to put the number of shirts on the x-axis, cost on the y. What kind of graph is this? Three. So it's going to end up over here. We will glue when we're finished. So all of you should just be looking up here. Second situation. Price of a hotel stay depends on the number of nights. We did this one together. Discrete or continuous? Discrete. This time you were given the graph. The store sells bananas by the pound, or you could have said the cost of the bananas depends on the pounds that you buy. Yeah. Continuous or discrete? Continuous. This is the one that's been debated. Bob does what with his pool? He drains it. That means we have a negative graph here. We're yeah. starting high going and we're going low. down to zero. <laughs> Yeah. The dependent here is the water in the pool. It depends on the amount of time. time. This is a really good example. <laughs> this is a really good example of the data in a continuous is within a certain range. We aren't going to go lower than zero because he won't have any more water in the pool. Next. No. The height of a tree changes over time. I made my graph look like at some point the tree kind of stops growing fast and might grow a little bit slower. Is it continuous or discrete? Continuous. Which means the last one should probably be discrete, so we have an even number. The cost of the toll depends on the number of axles on the vehicle. So the dependent is the toll, which is always money. And the independent is the number of axles. So that is how you should be gluing these in. Yeah.